You hear that? That's uh, the sound of my computer rendering this awesome video. Hi everybody, in this video we're gonna take a look at UX Suite. This is an awesome platform to do usability testing and all kinds of UX research. For this video specific, we're gonna take a look at how to connect a Figma prototype with UX Suite. Come on, let's have a look. All right, so let's have a look at this platform, at this tool. So we're here on the landing page and we're gonna go over to the dashboard. I'm already logged in. When you enter the dashboard, you get an overview of your active studies. On the left, you can also see all the tests or kind of studies that you want to do. So for this video, we're gonna test a Figma prototype. So we're gonna jump over to Figma over here and we're gonna grab our prototype. I've set up a really, really basic prototype for this video. As you can see, I already made a prototype inside of Figma. I'm gonna jump into the presenting view and I'm gonna click on share prototype. Make sure this is set to anyone with link, copy the link, and then we go back to UX tweak. On the left, we're gonna click on prototype testing. We're gonna import a new prototype. And then over here, you can set everything up. So we're gonna give it a name, PP website usability test we put it in english and it's created by me on this date so you also have a couple of options you can set the identification of respondent uh, which is quite cool you can also add a password protection to your study if you're doing a private super um yeah if you're doing a super private study uh, that's really secret, then this can be handy. And you can also add a closing rule. So if you want only 100 people to do it, or if you want to close it in two weeks, for example. Let's go over to designs and we're going to import or prototype of Figma. We can do that over here by copy pasting the link and then we click import. You can also import Envision prototypes. Uh, but for, yeah, for this video, of course, we're going to do a Figma prototype. I will allow the access. And then we have to wait for everything to import and sync. Et voila, our prototype is inside of UX Tweak. Um, if you do some updates in your Figma prototype, you can synchronize it afterwards by clicking on synchronize. As you can see over here, now the designs are linked with Figma. You can also unlink them, but I would not uh, recommend you to do that. So we can have a preview of every screen and then we can see what happens. So here we see one active hotspot that is added within Figma, but you can also create your own hotspots within UX Tweak. This can also be quite handy. For example, let us make some ourselves within UX Tweak. And now I said like, if you click on this hotspot, you go to another screen. But for the sake of this video, let's remove this and let's keep everything within Figma. All right, let's add some tasks. So what do we want to do with this test? Um, so, please subscribe to the newsletter, which is a simple match. Uh, and we want them to start on the first design and we want them to end on the third one. And then we're gonna add another task. Please go to the contact page and we want them to start on the third screen and we want them to end on the last screen. So that's it. Over here you can also add a couple of options. Let's also go over to the messages. So here you can set a, a custom welcome message and you can yeah do something with the instructions but UX Week already filled this in, which is quite cool. So you don't have to think about this and the copy that they added is also very good. We can also uh, add a questionnaire so we can add a couple of uh, questions and there are three types of questions that you can add. We're gonna include a screening question. This is really interesting because uh, maybe you only want people that, that take part in your study that are really um, yeah, relevant to, to your study. Uh, so for example, my question is, do you want to hire a company to build a website for you? So these are like relevant people that they are part of the target group of the Panda Panda website. So then we can do yes and we can add another one no. And if they uh, answer no, then we are going to reject them. And then we're going to say, sorry, man, it's not possible for you to do this. All right. So that's it for the screening question. I also want to add a couple of post study questions. Let me do this real quick. Um, 
what are the services that Panda, Panda provides. Now we're gonna add checkbox. We're gonna come up with a couple of services. So this is interesting actually for us to see if they understand what's on the website and if they really see our different services. Right, and I'm going to add another question that says, what is the tagline of the website? So next to the usability, the, the user flow of this website, we can also test if the copy is clear and if they, they read it and if it's easy to read. So this is also quite interesting. All right, so I added a couple of questions. Let's go over to branding. Here you can, uh, yeah, you can add some colors that are that is part of your branding. You can also add a logo of your company. So let me quickly grab a color over here. So this is also nice to do some customization. And at the end, you can also recruit people. But first, let's go over to a preview of user test. So this is what the respondents are going to see. Welcome to this test study. Uh, thank you for participating. It should not take any longer than 10 to 15 minutes. Well, in this case, it will be shorter. So I might have to edit this copy. Uh, and your response will help us make our website easy to use. So do you want to hire a company to build a website for you? Yes. Because if you say no and you go on, then we will say, hey, sorry, but this is this study is not intended for you. So I think this is already a really smart feature of UX Tweak and also really valuable. Let's reload and let's say yes. All right, so here we're going to show some instructions, how it's going to work. You will be presented with a task and then after this task, you will be redirected to a prototype and so on and so on. Task one, please subscribe to the newsletter. So yeah, we're gonna do this. So over here, uh, I'm gonna click this and then this, and now I subscribe. Now the difference with UX Week and other tools is that you have to decide yourself if you have finished the tasks. If you look at other tools, they will automatically close the task when you succeeded with, with the path and with the flow. So I think this is quite also quite smart and useful uh, that UX Tweet did it this way. Over here, you can see your task again. You can hide this or you can open this and then you can also click done. All right, so we're gonna go on with the next task. Please go to the contact page. Uh, and then I have to scroll to the website and I have to look for a block of the contact page. So over here, you see, we show these services, which we're gonna ask about after the study. Uh, and voila, over here, I see a call to action button of the contact form. And now I can say, all right, done. Yes, go to next. Now we ask a couple of post-study questions, which can also give some interesting information. All right, and that's it. We succeeded this test. So uh, this is the first part. It's really easy to make a test, to add some questions, to import your prototype, to customize it also a little bit. So uh, the next thing that I actually want to show is um, yeah, to get some results from a test. So over here we can go to the results and here we can, yeah, we can get some, uh, we can get some, some statistics. So four out of four, they have completed it. You can see the success rate is 87.5, which is quite good. And here you can also see the time taken of a test, which is also interesting, interesting. The locations over here, all based in Belgium for this one. The respondents, they are uh, anonymous. We got a little bit of information out of this, so that's also interesting. You have a bunch of filters here that you can use to, yeah, to see who your who your respondents are. And then we also have the analysis tab over here. Post study questions over here are also really interesting. So here you can see that, yeah. This is what they responded. So you can see, is your website clear? Yes or no? This is something that you have to, uh, you have to make this analysis for yourself, of course. And now we're gonna go over to the tagline of the website. We built awesome apps. So actually it was building your tomorrow. So that means that maybe it's not that clear. It's not really popping out inside of your website. So you can take uh, some action there. You can change your copy or maybe you can change your design to make it more clear. There's also an export functionality, so you can export it as a PDF or a CSV file. Uh, oh, over here, it's coming soon. And you can also share your, um, 
test results. Yeah, a bunch of information over here, which is also really interesting. So yeah, the second task was really easy, but the first task apparently it was not that easy for everybody. We can also look at the tasks and see uh, how good they did this, how good they followed this. So this is also interesting. How lost are your users? So over here, you also have some information about the lostness. So as you can see, you can, you can collect a lot of interesting insights and analysis and statistics about it, about uh, prototype tests with UX tweak. This was a really basic setup, but it already showed quite some value. If you're working with the UX tweak platform and you have some questions, you can go over here to the bottom right and you can just ask some questions and they will, uh, and they will answer you really, really quickly. If you need some participants for your test, you can also recruit people by setting up a user panel. This is something that UX Tweak also made possible. So if you don't have any people that you can send it to, then you can just, uh, yeah, you can actually uh, get some user from UX Tweak. You have to pay for that, but it's also a really valuable um, feature that they provide. To recruit participants, you can also use the recruiting widget over here. So this is something that you can set up within UX Tweak and then you just have to paste the snippet in the head of your website code. And this way you can also recruit participants on your own website. Let me show you an example. So over here, we got this online shop website and here, this is the UX Tweak widget. So this is also a really nice feature that you can use for your surveys uh, or for your prototype tests or whatever. So yeah, uh, that was it for this prototype testing within uh, UX Tweak. It's a really interesting tool. It gives a lot of added value to your uh, website usability testing. And it's also really easy to do remote testing because yeah, you can just set everything up within UX Tweak and then you can share this link within your network or to your target group or your users and you'll get a lot of feedback and a lot of insights. All right. Thank you very much for uh, watching this video and I will see you next time.